breaking news coming in right now from Maharashtra as uh, well uh, let me t uh, bring you up to the speed well actually today uh, uh, the Shiv Sena had actually filed uh, uh, in the Supreme Court uh, that the flow test that was bound to happen should not take place but today just a few moments uh, uh, before the Supreme Court has uh, given its verdict and it has said that the flow test will go uh, uh, in uh, Maharashtra and the Shiv Sena had to prove uh, their majority on the floor of the house post that uh, Shiv Sena uh, chief and the Maharashtra CM Uddhav Thakre has come out and he has uh, proposed that he will step down as the chief minister of Maharashtra. So that is a big breaking news. He has said that he don't want to get into the number game and he's not, uh, uh, he's not doing that kind of a politics. So he has said that he wishes to step down as the chief minister of Maharashtra. So a big, big story coming in. This has been developing over the week and uh, we have seen that how Eknath Shinde, who uh, you know, uh, who cut all his ties from, uh, <coughs> pardon me, who had cut all his ties from Shiv Sena, uh, and you know, one after another, uh, a slot of uh, uh, of uh, Shiv Sena MLA started uh, gathering in Guwahati, in Assam, uh, in red and blue, and post that, uh, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> And post that there was, uh, uh, there were uh, speculations that who will become the next, uh, you know, chief or the supremo of uh, uh, of Shiv Sena, uh, and clearly uh, the number are definitely with, uh, if I must say, with uh, Egnat Shinde over there. And let me read out what. Uh, you know, Uddhav Thakre has said in a, a small media briefing that he came out and he said, I had come to power uh, in an unexpected manner and I am going out in a similar fashion. I am not uh, going away forever. I will be here and I will once again uh, sit in <coughs> Pardon me, Shiv Sena Bhavan. I will gather all my people. I am resigning as the CM and as the MLC. <clears throat> so that is what uh, you know uh, Uddhav Thakre has said and um, just a few days ago we all remember that what he had done you know he came out in a similar fashion <coughs> and uh, and basically he he said that you know I don't want to get into this uh, uh, this kind of a politics and he said that I am stepping down he moved he didn't he didn't say that he's going to step down but he moved out of Varsha, which is uh, the official residence of uh, the chief minister there in uh, Maharashtra and he moved back into Matoshri which is uh, the ancestral home of uh, uh, of Uddhav Thakre where uh, Bala Sahib Thakre used to live and it was considered Matoshri at, at a point of time was considered as a, a powerhouse as, as a game changer house uh, in Maharashtra uh, but after the unfortunate demise of uh, Bala Sahib Thakre, uh, the whole, uh, uh, you know, uh, the power shifted uh, and uh, we all remember that how uh, in his last few days but there was a huge tussle uh, between, uh, you know, uh, uh, between Raj Thakre who was uh, the nephew of, uh, of Bala Sahib Thakre and it was, uh, it was slated that he might take uh, over the reins of uh, Shiv Sena, but at the end it was uh, Uddhav Thakre who took over the reins uh, as uh, the chief of uh, uh, of uh, Shiv Sena. And after that, uh, you know, uh, Raj Thakre walked away. He he started his own party, which is called the MNS. Uh, and uh, but you know, uh, with a keen eye over uh, Maharashtra, and he kept on doing the same work. Raj Thakre kept on doing the same work. What he was doing. Uh, you know, uh, under the guidance of Bala Sahib Thakre in uh, in Maharashtra uh, and uh, uh, under his new party, but then now uh, we all saw that uh, two and a half years ago that how the elections uh, panned out and uh, there was a huge power game that was being played uh, in the background with the NCP and the Congress and Shiv Sena joining hands. Many people called that uh, the Mahara uh, the Maha uh, Aghadi. Uh, 
विकास अघाड़ी एम वी ए महाराष्ट्र विकास अघाड़ी और द महा विकास अघाड़ी विच वॉज द नेम गिवन टू दिस अलायंस एंड मेनी पीपल क्वेश्चन दैट अलायंस दैट यू नो ऑन द आइडियोलॉजी बिकॉज देर वॉज अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस ऑफ आइडियोलॉजी शिवसेना हैज ऑलवेज बीन अ हिंदुत्व पार्टी इट हैज ऑलवेज बैटेड फॉर हिंदुत्व एंड वी ऑल रिमेंबर दैट यू नो बाला साहब ठाकरे हैज बीन अ स्टॉन्च uh you know critic of uh, sonia gandhi and and many i know many occasions he had you know criticized her and uh, and a lot of people you know question that was it a good move by udhav thakre to join hands with a party and with leaders that have uh, been on the uh, Uh, that that have been on the uh, radar of bala saab thakre and he has always been you know critical of these people and uh, but uh, and there were a lot of uh, you know anxiety amongst the shiv senics also that you know joining hands with people uh, against whom uh, who have been their political rivals uh, out and out uh, and uh, i think that was one of the biggest reason that you know eknath shinde uh, uh, severed his ties with uh, uh, uddhav thakre he uh, he had said himself that you know uh, how can we you know be in a coalition with the people with the whom we don't have an ideology uh, uh, similar ideology and he also uh, has pointed out that you know in some way uh, udhav thakre by uh, you know joining hands with sharad pawar with ncp and with the congress sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi have somehow you know betrayed the ideology of bala saab thakre and he himself said that i want to bring back that hindutva angle of bala saab thakre back into the shiv sena and uh, you know there are news also that uh, even uh, they have uh, the, the sect the uh, the ekna shinde sect has also you know went to the uh, election commission and they have actually claimed uh, the official uh, uh, symbol uh, the election symbol of shiv sena to be uh, theirs and uh, so that is a uh, that is a different fight altogether but yes the big story the big big story uh, right now which is happening right now in maharashtra is that uh, first of all the supreme court has given its uh, go ahead for the floor test and after the floor test was uh, you know given uh, the go, go through by the supreme court of india the uh, the the maharashtra chief minister of the thakre has come out and he has said that he don't want to get into the numbers game and uh, he had, does not want to do that kind of a politics and he has uh, you know said that he will you know step down as the chief minister and as an mlc so he is resigning as of now the big breaking story uh, that is happening in maharashtra is uddhav thakre is resigning uh, from uh, you know uh, from uh, the chief ministership of uh, maharashtra and uh, you know a few days ago he came uh, uh, in a press conference and he has said this thing that you know uh, i have been forced into becoming a chief minister and i never wanted to become a chief minister i was forced uh, to becoming a chief minister and uh, i never wished to become uh to hold that office and very interestingly today if you have seen a lot of media uh, houses uh, you know uh, they have been uh, covering this report out and out and so have we and it was very interesting that in to, in his two and a half years of uh, you know working he has never actually been to the chief minister's office and this was the very first time you know uh, if there have been any meetings in the uh, uh, he had always you know uh, been on video uh, conferencing and it was the very first time that he actually went there today uh, and you know had that discussion with the, the cabinet meeting he has never been the part of the cabinet meeting uh, uh, in uh, in present he has always been a part of them uh, in terms of uh, you know uh, being there by virtual uh, conferences it was only uthav thakre who is uh, 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 pardon aditya thakre who has been uh, who is the son of uh, uthav thakre who has always been present uh, in all these cabinet meetings so uh, so it was also very interesting so for the people who have been working in the offices to see uthav thakre for the very first time after he took oath as the chief minister to be present himself you know uh, as uh, as the chief minister uh, as a chief minister be present in the house uh, and be there so that was a big big thing uh, for a lot of people and uh, of course another big uh, so it was definitely on the cards uh, as far as uh, you know maharashtra is concerned uh, it was just an, uh, a, a 
uh, it was just about the time that people, everybody knew that you know uh, there would be a fallout uh, of this kind of things. Uddhav Thakre might have to step down as the chief minister, and he did that today. Uh, it might not be in a fashion that he wanted to. Uh, maybe because he, he could have, he, he has sensed what is coming next for him. He's definitely going to lose the uh, flow test, and uh, he was he might just be waiting for the Supreme Court to come out with a verdict. Uh, 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 what uh, the Shiv Sena has uh, filed an appeal in the Supreme Court asking uh, that uh, what the governor there in. Uh, in Maharashtra has said for a flow test uh, that might not happen but uh, unfortunately that was not the case and uh, what happened today was at around 9 uh, p.m. Uh, the Supreme Court was slated to come out with a ruling uh, with their decision basically about the flow test to happen in Maharashtra and uh, uh, unfortunately for Rudhav Thakre and for Shiv Sena uh, that uh, the Supreme Court said that yes there would be a flow test uh, that will take place and uh, they the, uh, they have to share their majority uh, show their strength uh, uh, on the house uh, on the floor of the house uh, and uh, i think with the takre uh, saw the writing on the wall he understood that it is not possible uh, as uh, uh, you know eknath shinde himself has said that he has around support of uh, 50 mlas out of which 46 or 45 odd are uh, Shiv Sena MLAs. Uh, he has the uh, numbers and he will uh, definitely uh, be willing to go for a flow test. So, Udhav Thakre, you know, just understanding the situations are not uh, in his favor. Uh, just stepped down today as the chief minister and he has said that I don't want to play the numbers game. Uh, it is very interesting what <laughs> the Thakre today has said that, you know, he doesn't want to play the numbers game, but uh, it is the same number game that actually got him. Uh, the chief ministerialship uh, there in uh, in Maharashtra, and we all remember that you know uh, it was a very uh, it was a very dirty uh, scenario. Uh, if we go uh, two and a half uh, years back, how you know uh, first there were uh, rounds and rounds and rounds of talks between uh, Shiv Sena and BJP about you know uh, uh, splitting of the ministries and the sheets uh, uh, seat sharing. Uh, formulas uh, and uh, one day you uh, BJP comes out they say that they have figured it out the next day Shiv Sena comes out they said they haven't uh, figured it out and uh, we all know that how you know the Ajit Pawar uh, scenario all took place in the BJP uh, camp you know one day he has the letter with 40 ML uh, signature from 40 MLAs uh, coming out and saying that you know uh, we have the numbers BJP saying that we have the numbers uh, uh, David the Fandav is going out uh, uh, early in the morning like uh, 6 or 7 6 or 7 early in the morning uh, to the governor's house and uh, over there taking oath as the chief minister of uh, of Maharashtra and then all of a sudden we get to know that uh, no he doesn't have the numbers Ajit Pawar have uh, had a letter uh, signed uh, by 40 MLAs but it, it didn't say anything about uh, you know uh, showing the support to the BJP to form the government so we all remember that kind of situation that was happening and then you know Shiv Sena uh, getting into this alliance with NCP and the Congress uh, which many many actually slated that uh, was it a right move uh, by Uddhav Thakre. Many even called him a little bit more, you know, uh, greedy to get into uh, uh, into the politics, into that, into the office of chief minister because Uddhav Thakre, uh, you know, uh, was, uh, uh, because the Shiv Sena has always, always been a party that has uh, been a king maker but never been the kings themselves and uh, that is why they're popular for that. Uh, but it is very unfortunate uh, that uh, you know today uh, when we talk about uh, what has uh, you know transpired uh, in Maharashtra in terms of uh, in terms of the whole politics, uh, it is very very saddening. Uh, one would say that. Uh, but yes, the big story, the big picture right now is that Uddhav Thakre has uh, said that he will step down as the chief minister of uh, Maharashtra. And now the, uh, the question arises that would there be now a flow test or not? And second of all, what would be the future for Shiv Sena going forward from here? Will Eknath Shinde and all those rebel MLAs will come back and uh, join 
uh, this sect of uh, Shiv Sena, which uh, had an alliance with the NCP, which had an alliance with the Congress Party, or will uh, they, you know, form a different, uh, 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 a different form of Shiv Sena, a different uh, party, uh, maybe with, maybe with the same symbol, because they have, a, a, you know, put uh, their uh, their application uh, to the Election Commission, saying that they want uh, the symbol of Shiv Sena to be handed over to them because they have the numbers right now. So what would the future be for Uddhav Thakre, uh, for Aditya Thakre and for, for the Shiv Sena that we know or the Shiv Sena that Uddhav Thakre represent, what would be the future for them? That needs to be seen, that needs to be understood. Uh, but that is all in the future because right now uh, what is uh, in the present is that Uddhav Thakre uh, uh, has stepped down and uh, after the Supreme Court of India said that uh, there will be a flow test uh, there will be a flow test that would be conducted and uh, you know Shiv Sena has to uh, come out and uh, you know show their numbers uh, in terms of uh, do they even have the numbers to show uh, their strength in the house so that is a big big uh, you know jolt for Shiv Sena and for uh, Uddhav Thakre and uh, you know there have been uh, visuals and uh, you know bjp leaders uh, who were uh, at a hotel in maharashtra during the legislative meeting you know uh, they have now uh, you know started showing their support towards the former cmm uh, and bjp leader devit the fatnavis so it could be a possibility that in the few coming days uh, we can see uh, you know a coalition forming between the Eknath Shinde uh, 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 side uh, with his MLAs and the BJP uh, and forming the government over there in Maharashtra. So uh, a big story uh, that uh, that has been uh, you know going on for uh, for quite quite some time uh, right now, uh, and of course uh, uh, th there has been uh, there have been questions arising that uh, why did. Uh, you know, Uttar Thakre and uh, uh, and Shiv Sena actually went in an alliance with uh, the parties like uh, NCP and uh, Congress, who have been, uh, you know, uh, uh, who have been uh, staunch uh, critics of Shiv Sena, the, uh, the the kind of working that Shiv Sena has. Uh, so we have to see now what will the future uh, enroll because uh, 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 Shiv, NCP has said that they will play till the end game and they will stand by Uddhav Thakre till the end game. So the end game is definitely we are in the end game as far as uh, uh, the stint for uh, for uh, for uh, Uddhav Thakre is concerned. He has you know uh, finally said that uh, it's over for me. I don't want to get into the numbers game. I want to just get out of this uh, kind of politics and he has said that he will be stepping down as the chief minister of uh, uh, Maharashtra so uh, so that is the biggest story uh, that has happened today and uh, we will be you know uh, keeping you on track about all the other big breaking stories that keep on happening uh, across the world and uh, for, for now uh, it is me Akash signing off thanks for uh, tuning in with me uh, uh, and uh, you know uh, uh, enjoying uh, uh, this live that we did today and if you like this kind of content please don't for, forget to subscribe to One India News uh, YouTube channel and of course hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications about uh, all the breaking stories that are happening across the globe and thanks for watching